Apogee Electronics is a 20-year-old company. We're celebrating our 20th anniversary this year here at AES. Uh, we manufacture hardware for digital audio. Primarily that consists of analog to digital and digital analog converter boxes, um, as well as uh, clock modules, master clock modules. And finally, we uh, do have media and uh, cables, and kind of cables you would need for your digital system. Our product line can be, uh, is, is, consists of three separate product lines. We have the mini series, which our uh, close-up camera will hopefully catch at some point. We have the uh, Rosetta series, which consists of the Rosetta 800 and Rosetta 200. Uh, and finally, we have the X series, the AD16X, the DA16X. And though it doesn't have an X, uh, the Big Ben, uh, I think we would consider to be part of the X, uh, X series family. Our analog design, uh, much in the same way, uh, certain companies will be working to optimize their mic preamps. Uh, we've spent quite a bit of, of time listening to our analog designs, uh, optimizing them for greater, the fastest slew rate, uh, i.e. transient response, um, and universal interfaceability. One thing that we forget in the digital world is that we need to be able to interface our digital systems to analog consoles, to analog preamps, and it's an art that might be uh, something that, that many people are losing track of, or, or, or they're not focusing on the fact that if we want to interface with vintage consoles, we have to have a robust analog output section. Second uh, aspect of design that we are concentrating on is obviously clock technology. Uh, one useful analogy uh, that I've uh, presented is that digital audio is the process of uh, graphing waveforms uh, on a piece of graph paper and the clock might be uh, compared to the accuracy of that graph paper. Uh, for example, the more accurate the graph paper, the more accurate our, our graphing process will be in the same way the more accurate a digital clock is, the uh, more faithful our digital audio process will be. And finally, the, the, the third aspect of, general aspect of, of uh, Apogee converters is universal interfaceability with digital systems. I think if you name the, audio, the digital system that you're working with and you tell us the number of channels you need, whether it be Pro Tools HD, Pro Tools Mix System, any of the uh, uh, ASIO compatible systems, uh, any of the uh, PCI cards that are on the market, there is a way to interface an Apogee converter via the proprietary uh, DigiDesign interfaces, via FireWire, via all the standard uh, digital audio interfaces such as single wire AES, <laughs> double wire AES, uh, ADAT, SMUX, SPDIF optical, SPDIF uh, coaxial, name the format and we support it. So those are the three general aspects about Apogee converters. To focus more specifically on the product line, let's start at the top. We have uh, the AD16, DA16, and Big Ben. AD16 is a, obviously a, a, a 16 channel analog to digital converter. It has classic uh, Apogee technologies such as soft limit and UV22. Some may ask uh, what utility for UV22, which is a, uh, a dithering program to uh, a dithering algorithm to 16 bits. We are still in a 16-bit world, and we seem to be uh, uh, reducing resolution of the final output. So uh, we still need to deliver 16-bit and lower formats. So UV22 still has utility. Uh, also, soft limit, which was uh, was conceived of as a simulation of analog tape, which is uh, a process whereby we round off the transients and gives it a little bit of that vibe that uh, one had when recording percussion instruments on analog tape. It, uh, the AD16 incorporates uh, the Big Ben clock, 
technology, which is our latest technology, uh, obviously in introduced. Uh, the, the, clock, the clock module we call the, the C77, uh, that is our latest uh, uh, DDS clock found in the AD16, DA16, and Big Ben. Uh, also, uh, a the AD16, again, it has a card slot that allows the support of XHD systems, it has a, a possibility for FireWire systems, and also classic AES and uh, ADAT interfaces. DA16 is kind of the sister interface. It's uh, 16 channels of digital to analog conversion. Um, has pretty much identical features. Um, and uh, obviously not uh, something like SoftLimit or UV22, but it has the, the same interface options. Big Ben is our master clock. It offers uh, six word clock outputs, so allows really for the, the, the simplest and most accurate uh, manner to configure clock in your studio. One of the additional uh, features of Big Ben is it allows lock to video, uh, all video formats. It supports uh, pull up and pull down for those who are doing uh, video transfer, uh, who need uh, that from when they're doing uh, post-production work. Also, the last two outputs uh, offer the, the possibility to add a multiplication factor. Uh, there are really specific systems, uh, DigiDesign mix systems needed uh, times 256 clocks for what they called super clock. Uh, and other systems have specific, specific requirements whereby the output clock is a multiple of the sample rate. So th those are possible with these last two outputs. Perhaps what we'll do is we'll move to the other rack and continue.